the highlight of running the pub has been uh, the Rugby World Cup in 2015. Uh, we had people from all over the world, as far as far afield as Mexico uh, and Argentina. And some of the games back to back, the mixture of fans in here was just fantastic. So the highlight around this pub for me has been Champions League we had a few weeks back. Um, I've run pub for, I've been in pub for a long time now, and that day, the Saturday, was without a doubt the best day I've worked. It was just, it ticked over nicely. We had a good average people in here. All for all, a lot of tourists, and they really liked our range of beers. Um, probably most definitely uh, the World Cup rugby last year. Um, loads of different nations around, different personalities. Uh, and it was just a really good atmosphere here. Um, one that stands in everyone's mind, you know, for the local customers, is uh, when John Hurt was filming for Doctor Who. Uh, he came in, he was here all week. He came in, he sat at the bar, he talked to everybody. He was an absolute gentleman, you know, he, he was great. He didn't go and sit in a corner and shy away. Uh, and everybody really, really loved his company, it was great. I wouldn't say the worst thing that's happened to the pub, but the build-up for the Champions League was, was huge and Champions League Friday was so disappointing. Uh, we didn't see many fans in the city and it was generally quiet. Um, so far this um, the last six months there's not really been a bad thing happening in the pub. There's been a few minor issues here and there, but nothing like and really worth shouting about to touch with for now. And hopefully from now on it's going to be plain sailing. The worst thing that's happened is probably um, Cardiff City getting relegated. Lost uh, quite a bit of custom because of that because uh, obviously we were, the stadium was full when we were in the Premier League and um, the other thing was probably the Champions League last week or a week, uh, week or so ago uh, we thought it would be a lot more busy than it was. Um, we had a young group of lads that decided to kick off and try and destroy what we have worked hard to create in the community that we run. I can't really think of that many things. I mean the worst thing for us at the moment is that um, our business rates have been put up by 350%. If they stay at that rate, then I'm afraid we're going to have to go after 14 years. We'll have to go. I think holding on to the history and tradition of a pub, not changing the interior too much, although we need to you know, get a tin of paint out now and again, and just looking after the, the old pub values. I think what makes an iconic pub, especially in this business, is the fact that we've got a, we've stuck to our roots. So we we still a traditional brains pub. We still have the uh, strong brains ales, um, and we're still even to look to look at for a traditional pub. We still got the brass. Um, we still got all the customers who stick to, who like that, um, that feel of it. I think what makes a good iconic pub is um, having good regulars who like to have um, a good time, uh, have a laugh about the place. Um, we like to have some uh, live live music here and um, discos, etc, karaoke, a bit of fun, that's what it's all about really. Uh, the people that visit us uh, actually making it a community pub. Um, family orientated. Yeah, we're family orientated, LGBT friendly. Um, yeah, it's the people that actually make the pub iconic, not us as such. Good traditional pub really, a pub that's, you know, steeped in tradition. This pub's been open since 1864. Um, the community as well, I mean, it's a, it's a lovely community, it's a community pub, everybody knows everybody. We do get lots of um, people coming in as well from, from out of town or from different parts of Cardiff to listen to music and, and things like that, but I think it's generally it's, it's, it's the community.